comments and questions. The ethnic character of black people. Some of this being black studies, women's studies, ethnic studies. Almost saying something about do we assimilate or do we maintain our ethnic character? Also in my travel, I can hear Neil Paul Singola of Senegal telling his people of sibling, but don't be a similar wicked. We see it in all honesty, in all love, all this, in other words, can't be bruised. We're going to change the dream to the ethnicity and the importance of ethnicity. It's also an observation that we're progressing in this state, rich in ethnic groups, racial groups, but we don't have the conflict we find in many other societies. This to me is a lesson. This to me is one of the reasons why this conference is important to come together and talk about ethnic identities. How we can maintain that identities in our diversity, I'm sorry, how we can maintain diversity yet be united. I think it's important. And one of the reasons for this conference. Quickly, what we want to do is to have these outstanding scholars come and share with us. The socio-historical character and nature of ethnic groups, how they came into this state, their distribution, and their various patterns of adjustment. I see an author over here, I take counsel, talks about, who talks to us about the Dutch. Later on, we will also go into a breakout session where we look very carefully at the contemporary issues of the Dutch, which is our way of an example. So we have our speaker come and talk to us about the social, and essentially about the social, uh, social historical character of the respective group. And then we go into breakout sessions where we have a panel to tell us about contemporary issues. We will follow as we can, as closely as we can, the program, time-wise, that's what's most important to me, is that we have a day of deep appreciation of ethnic diversity in our state. Thank you.
spending um, just a year uh, at the same place we gave when we were both uh, working at Notre Dame uh, back in 2004. Uh, uh, David also has, um, has taught and uh, worked at Wayne State University, and it's because of the time he spent in, in Michigan that he uh, got interested in, in uh, the, this topic of, of uh, uh, Latinos in, in Michigan. Then uh, the next uh, presenter is uh, Larry Tenharsel, and uh, Larry is a uh, uh, has taught uh, classics in English here at uh, Western Michigan University. Uh, he recently retired from the university, uh, began teaching here in 1974, uh, and is a native of Zealand, Michigan. Uh, and uh, uh, Larry also was the dean of the Honors um, uh, College uh, here at Western. Uh, so, uh, and then our third speaker um, is Mary Sengstock, uh, 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 is a professor and director of the graduate program in sociology at Wayne State University. She received her uh, uh, doctorate in sociology at Washington State, Uber, uh, sorry, Washington uh, University of St. Louis, sorry. I missed in the uh, program here. My daughter attends Washington University in St. Louis. I know that's a big one. I'm going to get these those days. Uh, uh, her special areas of interest are ethnic groups in the United States, sociology, and law, family, violence, and genealogy. And she conducted research primarily in the areas of ethnic groups and abuse and the left of the other way. She began to work with Helena's over 40 years ago. Uh, uh, and she will be talking about that her work uh, very shortly. So, without further ado, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Dr. Buddy. 